Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, I'm going to give you the first uh, really lecture about these uh, literature courses or literature um, uh, sources, I mean. The essays I've sent you um, as, um, you know, for our academic writing. Now, really, the short story today is, um, as you have seen, it's called Zabalawi, um, um, and it is really an Egyptian um, an Egyptian prize winner. Now, this story, as maybe you know, and I have sent you the, um, the again, the summary and the details and some commentary on it. Uh, you can see it's really a uh, sort of um, uh, symbolical, really allegorical uh, story. It's um, really dealing with uh, so many sort of um, strange issues to do with, uh, with, with beliefs and with God and things, like um, those uh, issues which are uh, society, customs, restrictions, and so on, really. There are so many philosophical um, ideas and questions about it. Really, it's, uh, it's very uh, sort of, um, you know, uh, small and yet at the same time amazing little story. Really, it's to do, as I said, with a lot of philosophical uh, uh, allusions and, and so on. Really, Mahfouz here um, was speaking about his sort of, you know, um, background, to some extent his really late, uh, you know, and he was talking about his own, maybe to some extent, his own attitudes towards society and religion and, and so on. Really, the name, as you can see, Zabalawi, you know, it's to do with this uh, old man, Sufi sort of man, religious man, a sheikh, and so on. Now, really, the story is, as you can see, it's something like an inverted journey, really, into um, knowledge, someone who wants to know. It's the search for, uh, you know, something which is really unbelievable or sometimes could be uh, hidden or even um, not, not clear and not known. It's something that you are looking for, but that yet at the same time, you don't really know exactly what. Um, so that's why in many ways, many people and many critics or maybe readers, I don't know who thought that this sides of that. And, you know, in this way, that's why to some people, this could be like um, a mysterious, ambiguous, uh, you know, um, religious, as I said, symbolical, allegorical text. Now, we, we can see here that the, in the story, as you know, maybe, it's very, very simple, you know, to, to look at it as the plot. And the story is about this young boy who, uh, you know, wants to know this name or this man, Sheikh Zabalawi. You know, he, he asked his father about his, this uh, man this way, and he never even told him exactly what. Uh, you know, the answer. So he, he just responded to him to say, may his blessing descend upon you. He is a true saint of God, a remover of worries and troubles. Were it not for him, I would have died miserably. Now you can see here the father or the narrator, you know, the, this little boy who's asking about this, uh, you know, old man Zabalawi. We, um, we really, we, uh, we are not exactly and the reason, as, as we know, even, even we don't know why this boy is looking for this, as if to say he's suffering a sort of disease or something like, you know, he needs, he needs some medications or something. So really, this is, again, ambiguous and it's not really clear. So that's why he went on and on uh, from house to house everywhere asking for, uh, you know, this uh, man, this ambiguous man, Sheikh Zabalawi who was, again, I, I think the story tells us a lot about that, you know, details about going on and on. Uh, so the, uh, the story is actually about those people he met, you know, those people whom he really encountered and asked them so many funny questions and the answers that he received from them, really, if you like, um, is part of the meanings of the story. Okay, so 
really here we see um, asking these people on shops and places and neighborhoods everywhere. It turns out that the majority of the people, you know, everywhere, they have never heard of this man, you know, Zabalawi. And every time he asked, you know, he seemed to be a little bit, you know, shocked to some extent to know that nobody knows him, um, you know. So the result of this, uh, again, is more ambiguity, you know, adding to this, um, uh, you know, already ambiguous situation. So he spends days, I mean, this young boy, the narrator here, he spends, he spends days and months looking for him, but really he couldn't find him exactly. Then he decided to go, you know, um, to exactly the place where, where he was. Um, and then he met uh, an, an old man, another uh, you know, another sheikh or another man who had a map and he drew something like uh, on that map and he told him where and how maybe he could find him. Mask to mask and so on. But really he couldn't again uh, find him till finally really, which is again um, a, a amazing thing. And I, I, I think this is again very interesting to see here um, uh, the final, uh, if you like, a person to give him some kind of hints. Now, uh, as you can see here, the narrator went on to, to finally to, to someone called Hajwanis. And that Hajwanis was sitting at a table alone drinking some wine, which is, again, very funny in a way to say here, to connect, um, you know, drinking religion and all this search for, for, if not for whatever. So the narrator went to the bar to find Hajwanis, and he found him sitting there at a table alone, drinking wine. The narrator spoke to him, but he interrupted him saying, sit first and get drunk, you know, which is again, really very amazing. So the narrator tried to explain to him that he does not drink alcohol, but Hajwanis didn't care. You know, he told him, this is your business and this is my condition. The narrator drank the first and second cup and he forgot why he came. By finishing the fourth drink, he had ever seen. Again, this is interesting thing about dreaming. He was in a place full of trees and harmonious music and he felt peace inside him. He soon woke up to find his head wet with water. Hajwanis told him that he noticed that he and his friend Sheikh Zabalawi was sitting next to him pouring water gently on his head in the hope that you woke up, you know, talking to him. The narrator, of course, in a state of absolute panic, asking Zabalawi, where is he? I came in here searching for him. And he ran, shouting Zabalawi. But of course, it was useless. But he felt absolutely comfortable for some time because it was confirmed that maybe Zabalawi does, at the end of the day, really exist. The narrator returned then the next day to the same place, to the pub, again, hoping that he would meet Zabalawi but he never found him. Here, really, the story ends, and the narrator is still looking for Zabalawi. And whenever he feels disappointed, he remembers his sickness, and he thinks Zabalawi, or thinks of Zabalawi, to continue his search for him. Now, really, the story, as you can see, is quite, quite funny in a way, you know, very simple and strange, and, and, and yet, at the same time, as we said, very simple. And all. So here we can see, um, you know, the idea that uh, this story is uh, really quite amazing about the ideas and the themes which were addressed. Now, I will stop this uh, now to see if the recording is okay, and then I'll continue with, with you uh, in a minute, okay? Right.